his projects. We love your projects. Antonio yeah. Belushi is here with a great DIY. Thank you. So this time it's about trays. We all use them. We always advocate, you know, put your things on a tray and everything's going to be beautifully collected in one spot. Exactly. Or you can actually use it for serving if you have people over, you're entertaining. But we're making them out of um, things you might not have think thought could be used as a tray. Exactly. Just upcycling things. Upcycling. And you know, it's, it's a great way to sort of display things. And I always think that junk looks better on a tray. It does. It just looks collected. Put your remote controls on the tray. Exactly. And exactly. then it looks just art. Exactly. So I got four of them to show you. So the yeah. first one I have starts out with a picture frame. So you're going to take an old picture frame and you're going to take it apart, disassemble it and get rid of the art. Yeah. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to cut a piece of board out of a press board, a little bit thicker to create a backing for the, the tray because okay. the back of an art uh, frame is not really thick. It's usually just a piece of cardboard. So you need something that's good and sturdy. And you're going to just drill a few screws to secure it in place. Yep. And in between that, you're going to paint it all out. And what I've used is a vinyl placemat that I actually cut the size of the artwork mm -hmm. and I placed it inside. And what you're going to end up with is a tray that looks like this. That is gorgeous. Think about all that. Yeah. <laughs> you can get out there exactly. for a fraction of the price. Exactly. Uh, you know, you can get them everywhere and just replacing it makes such a big difference. Yes. This is a placemat? It's a, it's a vinyl placemat. The great thing That's about nice. this, it'd be great in a bathroom because you could put your toiletries on top yes. and wipe it down. And then all on the back, you can see the screw marks that I showed just to reinforce yeah. it so it's a nice. little bit stronger. So you wouldn't just do that with glue, huh? I'm always no. looking for a shortcut. <laughs> no. Well, okay. I can, the next Use project the is, a real, is a real simple project. So now everyone has these old chopping boards in their house. Mm -hmm. This one's from my kitchen. And you know, old chopping boards, they get they start to crack in the seams and you don't want to cut food with them anymore. Yeah. Uh, so what you can do is you can sand it lightly and then what you could do is take food grade mineral oil and mm -hmm. spread it over your chopping board and that you should do regardless for your chopping boards to protect it and let it cure for about 48 hours. Okay. And then what I did is I took two handles and I screwed it through to make sort of a serving tray like this and you can see this one right here. Nice. Pick whichever pulls you like. Exactly. And then you've got this gorgeous huge Huge tray. Yeah, and you can use looking. it to like, you know, serve drinks or just put things on top. Yeah. Not necessarily cut, but it, you know, it gives it a longer life and it's got some personality because it's all worn. Yeah, very nice. Okay. I love that. It's now, vintage. Now the next one is, uh, I've used this paint board mm -hmm. and people normally just paint sort of this side of the board, but what I've done is I've actually flipped it on its underside yeah. and I painted it all out on the sides and the trim and on the back. Okay. And then what you're also going to want to do with this one is you're going to want to take some screws and screw it through the back to reinforce the thin board that yeah. is normally the front of the art piece. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go and get some of these acrylic panels. Now these, these are awesome. Yeah, these are great. These are meant to be used for uh, backsplash tiles right. to cover it up. And they're really easy to work with. You can cut them and glue them in place. So what I did is I cut out a square to fit on the inside of this artboard. And I just lovely. glued it in place. Oh, I love that. That is really, really nice. Easy to clean as well. And, and you put on your own poles as well. Put on my own poles. And I went with this long linear pole because it sort of echoes the design and the, and the framing of this one. Gorgeous. Okay. Now, one other thing I want to show you on the back of this one, you can see oh. my screw marks, but I've also used what I call these they're plastic spacers. They're little rubber spacers. Mm -hmm. And what it does is it, it gives the board a little bit of height. So when you place it on a surface, it actually sort of sits above. It sort of floats. Yeah, that's It doesn't nice. just sort of sit on the floor. So it's, it's like these a finishing touches. Lucite high heel. Exactly. Right? Exactly. A lucite high a heel. Sexy, sexy. I'm there you go. That tray. Now the next one I want to show you is using an old cabinet door. Okay. Now cabinet doors, a lot of people are you know renovating, or you can find them in the junk stores or what have you. This is a shaker style door, which is very common. So what I did is I took off the handle that used to be there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I filled up the holes, and then what I did is I painted it, painted out the outside and the framing. Oh, so beautiful! So, 
you put these on, yes. you paint all of this out, and it's got a little bit of a shimmer, the paint. Yes, a nice gold shimmer. Now, this is actually wrapping paper. Oh, wrapping paper. I thought so it was it's, wallpaper. No, it's just wrapping paper, and what I use is some decoupage glue, yep. and I coated it on, and I spread it out, and then I put a few layers on top. Now, you do need a little bit of patience, because take out like your credit card, and you're going to want to push out any of the air bubbles. Right. And it just fits perfectly in here. That is so nice. And really easy, really easy. You know, it would be nice on, as a centerpiece for a dining room table. Yes. And you can place things on top. That is gorgeous. And now the one last thing I want to show you, Tracy, mm -hmm. is when you're dealing with uh, cabinet hardware, mm -hmm. typically cabinet hardware, the screws are sort of short like yeah. this. But if you're working on a project like this, you might have to drill through a thicker material. So you can get these longer uh, screws at the hardware store, and they actually have these little, little, grooves. little grooves. And what you can do if you need a longer piece and you just need to trim it, you can take your pliers and you could just place it in the groove. Yep. And I was going to say, how cut. easy is that? That's oh, easy. Well, you pretty easy. It's easy. So, so you make it the length you need exactly. it then. Exactly. Oh, love that. Exactly. Okay. So start so. out a little bit longer because the short ones might be just a bit too exactly. short. Exactly. So for example, this one here, yeah. I needed a longer one. Right. So I yes, that makes screws. sense. That totally makes sense. We are putting all of the instructions for Antonio's project on our website. They're so good. Cityline.ca. Let's go to break. We'll be right back. Thank you.